On Saturday, November 9, 2024, Dominica marked a historic milestone as the DLP administration broke ground on the highly anticipated International Airport Development Project at the Wesley site. The development project will be funded through the country's Citizenship by Investment Program, which has been the subject of much controversy and scrutiny from opposition critics. The CIB programs in St. Kitts, St. Lucia and Dominica have been whipsawed by blistering allegations from political foes, with the incumbent administrations denying any wrongdoing. Prime Minister Roosevelt Skerritt, who emphasized the importance of gratitude, also stated that the collapse of the CIB program would affect the airport development project. There, at the end of this project, there will be no debt associated with it. We will owe no one, ladies and gentlemen. We have not borrowed one dollar thus far for this project. It has been financed exclusively and entirely by the CBI. And you know, I was speaking to a European member ambassador. And he's saying to me, Prime Minister, the opposition people in the Caribbean who are attacking the CBI program say they do not want to destroy it. But he says to me, Prime Minister, that is exactly what they are doing by their actions. And let us understand this. If the CBI is affected based on the actions of the opposition elements within our Caribbean, because it's happening in other Caribbean countries, understand this. It is not only Roosevelt's carrot who will be affected. I have never, I've tried never to make this thing about me. I am here to serve the people. I came to serve Dominicans. That's my preoccupation. And so let us understand this, that if these people are successful in stopping the CBI, this international airport project would be in jeopardy. Since Lucia Prime Minister Philippe J. Pierre was on hand for the groundbreaking international airport ceremony, he also attended the Dominica Labour Party's conference of delegates on Sunday, where he called on supporters to protect the victory by uniting by all means. Their strategy is to tie us out and to tell as many big lies as possible in rapid succession so we cannot keep. This is why. We heard these robot, these robot voices day after day on your cell phones. Yes, the same robot voices that cannot say St. Lucia. You know that? They can't say St. Lucia. They can't say Miku. They say Michael. <laughs> the same robot voices that pronounce Dominica as Dominica. These are the AI propaganda machines that spread lies about us and try to paint us with corruption because they cannot touch our people-centered policies and our handling of our economies. Prime Minister Skerritt criticized the opposition, claiming that their policies are not people-centered. These guys, they do not care about people. Anytime you hear the Workers' Party raising money, it's for themselves. Never raising money to buy books for children. Never raising money to help somebody bury their grandmother. Never raising money to send a child to school. Not to buy a juice. Not to buy a popsicle. Nothing. These people do not care about people but themselves, ladies and gentlemen. That's what it is. This is the party of the people, ladies and gentlemen, the Dominica Labour Party. The historic groundbreaking ceremony for Dominica's International Airport also marked a significant step towards improving its connectivity and economic development. In June 2024, Eastern Caribbean nations offering citizenship by investment programs agreed to a standardized approach. A new minimum investment threshold of US $200,000 will apply to all programs starting July 1st. The country 
Territories formed an interim regulatory commission to oversee the development and enforcement of regional standards for CIB programs. The commission will monitor compliance, investigate complaints, and facilitate information sharing. Gina Filippi, HDS News Force.